Yesterday was a rough day for crypto. We saw the headline, SEC suing Binance and CEO CZ for U.S. securities violations. Well, welcome to today's headline. SEC sues Coinbase on unregistered securities exchange allegations. What is going on here, everybody? It is, it is a rough one for crypto right now. This is the Bitcoin chart. Just to give you a little comparison, there's yesterday's daily candle. Here's today's daily candle. So before we even discuss this news, and I have a very, very couple of really important things to say in regards to this news. It will be interesting to see if the markets become numb to what is going on. Remember, there are other countries outside of the United States that trade crypto. The scoop is Gary Gensler is embarking on a midnight massacre in an attempt to bring all of crypto under his control. In the coming weeks, the SEC, NYDFS, and USOCC will be bringing a myriad of enforcement actions against exchanges, banks, and entities that mint tokens in an attempt to label the majority of them as securities. I'm told Gensler's strategy is to bring as many enforcement actions as possible while the 118th Congress is still getting its bearings. I want to throw this extremely important reminder to everybody because this is happening, obviously, and I feel like these headlines are going to keep happening, but Brian Armstrong over at Coinbase, he put it really well. China to gain most from restrictive U.S. crypto regulations, Coinbase CEO, Brian Armstrong. Brian Armstrong issues warning on China, says U.S. putting national security at risk with anti-crypto climate. Given these moves and China's strategy to leverage financial technology to protect its own national interests, it should come as no surprise that Hong Kong is positioning itself as a global crypto hub. And so this is what we have going on right now. U.S. becoming a weaker and weaker force in just the global landscape. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission sued U.S. crypto exchange Coinbase on allegations of violating federal securities laws a day after filing a similar suit against Binance. According to SEC, Coinbase has operated as an unregistered broker, exchange, and clearing agency simultaneously, arguing that it solicited customers, handled orders, allowed for bids, and acted as an intermediary all at once. Before we talk about how unbelievably ironic, confusing, and misleading this is, I'm really curious, and maybe they might release an announcement as I'm recording, I don't know, but I'm sure they'll do some type of response soon, Coinbase. But I'm hoping it's something like this response that they gave, and this was the Coinbase uh, chief legal officer back in April when they got a Wells notice from SEC. Check it out. Coinbase will defend itself vigorously in litigation if it comes to that, but it does not have to come to that. We will show up at your offices any day, any time to discuss a workable path forward for our industry. But we won't find that path without true dialogue. Hoping we get a similar powerful response from Coinbase today on this news. Here it is, everybody. I mean, it's, and this is going to be kind of a something probably to get used to seeing in this crypto space, maybe other exchanges uh, coming into play. Now, here's where things get really crazy and ironic. Uh, Jake Chervinsky tweeting about this whole scenario this morning. SEC says our mission is to protect investors. Also, SEC reviews Coinbase's business model, approves Coinbase to go public, allows Coinbase to sell stocks to retail investors. Then the SEC alleges Coinbase's business model is illegal and tanks stock by 20%, causing losses to investors. Here's Miles over here on Twitter. Let me get this straight. The SEC says that Coinbase has operated as an unregistered broker since 2019. That's what they're saying. Yet Coinbase IPO'd in April 2021. How is that possible? How is that possible? So you're telling me that the SEC let an unregistered broker IPO after carrying out due diligence. And it's just it. It's just plain as day what is going on right now. Now, it's important to note some other things that are happening. So this was a scoop that uh, Eleanor brought to the Twitter table yesterday. And it was just in the middle of all the Binance news. And I think this got suppressed uh, it got kind of buried in that news, but she, yesterday she's saying tomorrow uh, there was a hearing entitled The Future of Digital Assets, Providing Clarity for Digital Asset Spot Markets, will consist of two panels back to back. And there's some notable figures on this panel or on these panels, one of them being the chief legal officer of Coinbase. And so this is what this is happening today now. And here's a quote from uh, a congressman who I think is chairman there. I do want to address one more elephant in the room. 
Earlier today, the SEC filed a complaint against one of our witnesses, Coinbase. I do want to note that this action is exactly why we are holding our hearings today. Regulation by enforcement is not an appropriate way to govern a market. So let's see how this goes. Uh, This person down here in the comments said, do something, less talking. And it is true. I mean, to do something, I think it takes a lot, right? So it does seem like there's talking. It does seem like there's trying. But I think the right parties, the right people, people that are really fighting for just financial sovereignty here and crypto in general, I think they're trying to they're trying to make moves. But these types of moves, they take some time. Uh, and I think as we continue to fight for clarity, for direction, for regulatory insight that is appropriate and fair, we just have to keep rooting for them. We have to keep supporting the people that are trying. I tweeted yesterday, and I, I kind of stand by this even going into today, I said I was absolutely amazed by the unity displayed within the crypto space today. In all my years of being here, I've never seen this happen so powerfully. I am so bullish. And I did mention yesterday's video, I think it was one of the videos, like there's going to be probably a lot of backlash and a lot of you know, negative comments rooting against cryptos. But actually, I was very surprised to see that uh, there were a lot of just comments of, of human, unity, people supporting each other. Uh, even some, I, I, I saw one in particular where I was very surprised just to see uh, kind of support and unity. And that was cool to see. But that's what we need to see in this space, everybody. This is, this is how to move forward appropriately uh, and doing so in a respectful manner as, as the space try, does try to get clarity. So we're going to continue tracking all this news, everybody. But this is the news that dropped today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please hit the subscribe and like. It really means a lot to me as we grow this YouTube channel, especially through these tough times. Let's see what Bitcoin does on these charts. Maybe we'll check it out in a video later on today. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.